Hey guys, I have a spoiler for you, and I'll post the picture straight away for the people who are just here for the new card and don't want to listen to me talk, uh, but I'll, I'll may as well read it out as well. It's a 5 cost Ice Forward, Necron. You can play 2 or more dark characters onto the field. When Necron enters the field, choose a character other than Necron you control, its element becomes dark. This effect does not end at the end of the turn, and that's character, not forward, so you can choose backups. And at the end of each of your turns, if you control 3 or more dark characters, Necron deals your opponent 1 point of damage. Uh, so that's the card. If you that's all you wanted, then yep, you're free to leave. Uh, if, you, if you want to listen to me talk about it and what you can do with it, then by all means hang around. Um, so the first thing you'll notice about this card is that it is the first way to reliably deal direct damage to your opponent, as in not by attacking. Uh, all the other ways in the past, which, which there aren't many at all, uh, have been really unreliable. You can't really make them happen. Your opponent can stop them really easily. Whereas this, once you have the setup, which is a lot easier than it looks, um, you it'll probably just deal the damage when you play the card. So, uh, the obvious thing you want to do is have three dark characters, and it creates a dark character itself, so you actually only need two dark characters on the field when you play Necron to get the damage. Um, and also, that naturally, um, once you've played it once like that, then you probably, all the later Necrons, you don't even need to make more dark characters, you can probably just retarget one of the dark characters you already have. Um, just because, obviously, if you start making all your backups dark, then you won't be able to cast anything, because you won't have the right CP, because dark CP is not very useful. Um... But I'll uh, talk about, I mean, some of the obvious things uh, that will go with this is Camelot and Chaos. So, naturally, you don't want to rely on Necron's um, effect to allow you having more than uh, more than one dark character, because they could just kill your Necron, and if you have more than one dark character, they'll all go to the break zone, and you'll probably lose on the spot. So, obviously, you want something else much more reliable, and Chaos is the obvious choice, because uh, that um, is also a dark character itself, and uh, it's easily searchable with Camelot, and it's also just a nice neutral card to play, two cost backup beautiful. And fortunately, Necron is in the same color as Even Oil, which is the EX Searcher for Camelot. So EX Searchers are really good, and um, especially when they cost three, and Camelot is the card you want, because that gives you two dark characters straight away. Um, naturally, uh, that should be enough, actually. In all honesty, that would probably be enough for you to, if you wanted to have a deck with just those dark characters, and then you can you know, have Camelot, Chaos, play a Necron, turn something else dark, you've got your three dark characters there, and then Necron will trigger, and then even if Camelot dies after that, any point after that, you've already got the other dark character off Necron, you can play your next Necron, can just make something else, and you'll have three again. So... That's um th that's the obvious stuff, but uh, obviously you can go a bit further into dark. Um, and if you want to have you know, make sure that you have two two dark characters. Uh, Spiritus and Kadaj. <laughs> Naturally, Kadaj best dark forward in the game, one of the best forwards in the game, and will almost never die. Also, you can trigger these in the correct order. So if you have Necron and Kadaj trigger in the end phase, you can uh, put Kadaj on stack first, then Necron stack on top of it. So Necron resolves first before Kadaj removes himself. Spiritus obviously second backup. So backups are much harder to get to than forwards, so if you have two dark backups, Spiritus and Chaos, then, you know, the third character you make with Necron uh, should easily be enough. Um, if you want to get, uh, go a bit further into it, oh, sorry, uh, elements that you can play alongside Ice with this. Uh, Earth is an obvious choice, because uh, it's got more EX searches. Uh, Gabranth can search both Necron and Cam Lenore. Tyra can search anything. Uh, and Tyra is rainbow CP as well. For it's just, it's just a really good card. These cards are just really nice. They're really good ways to you know make your deck do what you want it to do, as long as um you have it has any kind of five cost or higher forward in it. And if you're in Earth, you can even go a bit further into it and play stuff like this. So Star Civil naturally searches Cam Lenore as well. Also searches Ildnarch, who is a dark character and. Ildnarch's Paradise will let you trigger Necron twice. Uh, and Ildnarch, the, the other Ildnarch that you use for Paradise, so you don't have to play lots of dark characters, uh, is also another search for Even Oil. Well, I mean, so is the dark one. But basically, having the Ildnarches there will give you plenty of searches for your Even Oils, so they're not dead after you've already searched Camel Nort. And Star Sybil obviously has the um, inherent being at the synergy of being able to play the high cost character, so you can play Necron with it, or you can play Ildnarch, obviously. You can play Camel Nort, etc. So that stuff. <laughs> Could be a really funny way to end the game. You could probably deal 7 damage in one turn. By that, I mean 2 with Paradise quite easily uh, if you wanted to. Um, so that's, you know, if you want to have a bit of fun. And then the other element that you could put this with is Water. Because uh, Water obviously has the Searcher for Necron, which is Aiko, because he's Category 9 forward. Um, and Water gives you access to Realm, which gives you access to Unsag and Nashia, which is... You know, Realm to Unsag is probably the best way to protect a forward in the game. So that's a nice way to make... Uh, try and guarantee that your Necron goes off more than once. You know, if you play a Necron, do its effect once, they'll probably kill it the next turn, so you won't usually get it again. But if you have Unsag, you can actually protect it and then maybe get to do it more than once, and you can maybe even, you know, deal multiple damage off a Necron. Especially if you have something like Kadaj going alongside that, you can deal a lot of damage to your opponent quite easily without them being able to do anything about it, potentially. And 
Uh, fortunately, Realm is searchable by Castalian, which is also in the same color as Necron. So that's another option if you don't want to go the Earth route. Uh, I think those are probably the two elements you would play with this if you were going to do it. Uh, the other the other one is naturally Wind uh, with Samuel Athena for Star Civil. Um, and of course, Wind Earth, you get to play the new Ishtola, who we've all seen and is in looks ridiculous. Uh, that's a topic for another video, though. Um, oh, and <laughs> that's all the uh, probably realistic or kind of like viable things you could do with it. As for funny things, um, <laughs> Maya is a funny one because you can actually make her dark, and then if she dies, she can like, she'll trigger her own ability, and then you can add like her back if you want, or anything else really. Um, this is also the first way in the game to have light and dark characters in play at the same time because you can turn your light character into a dark character, and then if you have Chaos or Spiritus or even Necro himself, you can then play another dark character alongside it. So, for example, you could turn your Fasoya into a dark card. And now if you have, you know, one of those other cards that lets you play multiple dark characters, you could play Sephiroth alongside Vesoya, which is... If you could do that normally, that would actually be pretty cool. Obviously, the effort you have to go to to make this happen with Necron is probably too much for it to be a viable deck, but it's still funny. Um, you know, and if there ever is uh, in the future an interaction, a really generic interaction between a light and a dark card, Necron will allow you to actually do it, uh, which you would not have been able to do before. Uh, but that's, that's basically it for that card. There's a lot of interesting things. I actually think it's... I think it honestly could be a playable deck. Um, uh, I think, sorry, a playable card rather. I mean, you don't have to base your entire deck around it. But I think with the fact, like I've mentioned, that all the searches are in kind of the right colors, um, the things kind of line up, that you could probably make something happen with it. Um, I don't think it's an awful card at all. I think it's, I don't even think it's that, um, uh, I guess, cheesy. I think it is a little bit cheesy, but in a way that's, you know, you can do something with it. You don't have to rely on, uh, you know, basically everything going your way. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, enjoy that. See you later, guys.